Hey everybody, how's it going? It's me, Soul Supreme, and welcome back to the Belligerent Brazil campaign in Victoria 2, where you last left off. We entered a war with Ethiopia to take over their coastal regions of Eritrea, and what we're gonna do over here is use this as a staging ground for possible Asian interactions. And speaking of Asian interactions, I am prepping us for a war with China right now so we can gain a colony over there. And in the process, I'm shipping like my men over on these little nifty fleets we have. All right, and that's the sign of something I would like to hear. That was a sign of some naval bases being upgraded. And what we're gonna do since China it shouldn't have a navy. Oh, they got a pitiful six ship navy. And they are like military tech three. What we are going to do, we are going to finish off nationalism and imperialism. And I kind of want to get some of these other military techs done. Especially down here. We have until 1900. Oh, we still got. The 1880s and 1890s are kind of a grace period for us where we could gain our strength. And that's what I'm you know, currently trying to shoot for. Once we get nationalism and imperialism, I want to get iron muzzle loaded artillery. And we are going to begin our invasion, of course. And what the hell are you guys doing? have these hunt rebels on I gotta turn that off for them you can say like that you guys get back to your positions on the staging grounds now let's see Japan will you give us military access no you have a 50 base reluctance let's try to see if we can get Japan at least comfortable with us better yet uh, we could go for it Spain could be used as a launching ground. We could actually go for Spain. Yeah, that'll work. Get these guys back on the boat. The men in, over here, they're going to be overwhelmed. So, let's actually get some of these ships. Can we get, ask for military access from the United States? And eh. let's try to see if we can get some people over to Hawaii. Still have to wait for these other naval bases. Okay, so Venezuela. We can add them to our sphere. We'll do that in a short while. Oh, they're still heavily influencing. Actually, let's just remove them from UK sphere right now. This could work. And we just put the pressure on them. Some more socialists. There they are traveling the ocean. Our brave men are about to proceed on an adventure of a lifetime. All right, let's see. Get you back on the boat. I just wanted to use that as like to see if we could actually make some headway over there. Let's keep on increasing relations with Japan. But since we have military access from Spain, I want us to see if we could head all the way over here. Just use this as a, like a little break point. All right, that's done. Oh, we can enact the Valley of the Kings event. Let's do that. All right. Um. Oh, we also have to do this. 
the women's suffrage. Ah, I forgot about that, but no big deal right now. Let's go for iron muzzle loaded artillery. And let's also use you. I guess you could go for clergyman too. And all right. Let me see something. All right, all right, all right. You guys are sailing off as well. You guys head down here. We're gonna use Spain as a staging round, and we're gonna justify war. 128 days. I'll hold off on that just a little bit before we fabricate. relations with Japan again actually raise the military stockpile budget soldiers from Rio we're gonna switch those out right now have them get some recovery same thing with you, switch you to soldiers. Alright, so we got a small force down here. That's what I'd like to see. How is our naval base looking? Uh, still got those two more extra years. Can expand some of these in Africa. And we're gonna need it to keep up our presence. Austria is actually the same score as us right now. I think they gain, they possibly gained a lot from the uh, Great Wars, but this will be a test of our fortitude. Once iron muzzle loaded is done, I'm gonna fa start fabricating the claims in China. Hmm, gonna be quite. It's gonna be quite a bit down here. done still want to accept to keep on increasing relations with you all right so I do believe this war is going to be savage Should we go for this or army decision making? I think army decision making. Yes. Actually, we do need this because of. Well, no, let's just go for army decision making. All right, and let's fabricate the claim for a demand concession. Alright, and let's also start queuing up for another fleet. Actually, let's do this. This will be better. Here, here, here. Let's have them all queue up. Getting 5.9 infamy out of that. Alright. 
so that's done. Let's continue breaking the army down here in Africa. Hmm. We can continue using these so like just gives us the troop numbers we need. Two Sicilies down here. Wait, they're at war with France and Italy. Oh, okay, okay. So now Italy is on the world stage. All right, everyone must see our splendor. Chinese menace. Okay, what is our justification looking like? Or half or 50 days. Alright, can we? I still can't. Uh, can't even do it to Korea yet. Let's just try to keep this going for a little bit longer. Increase relations with you again. All these purchases is kind of hurting us. Gotta keep buying steamer convoys. Alright, 23 days. This rounds you guys up. Gonna drop you off down here. Well, actually, which which province would be better? We could go for Zhejiang. We could go for Jiangsu. I'm thinking we might just go for Jiangsu. It seems like I like the pop in here. And it'll give us like all this surrounding area to be able to access. So let's actually go for here. So that's Shang Tsu and that is in the Yellow Sea. So let's put you down here. Wait, what the hell? You go to the Yellow Sea and so do you. I'm gonna keep our guys kind of grouped together raise the taxes on the rich a little bit so we can fund this war let's get everyone down here Lions offer from Spain sure thing Woo! okay that is a lot more than I was expecting they got men all down here All right, let me take a 3% attrition. This is not good. All right, so without further ado, this is your man for Jinx. Shoot, wait, let me make sure it's the right one. Yeah, okay. So we're Jinx Shu. The United States will accept, Colombia will accept, da, 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 da. Spain will accept. Okay, USA, Transvaal, I don't care, I don't care. USA will accept, Belgium will not accept. Okay, this is, this is calling in, so. Everybody, we know and love, will come about and help us during this time. 
Yeah, that's fine. Pretty much the people I want to join in are joining in. I don't really care about trans ball and all, bro. Alright. Stick together, crush these units. We just stick together and crush these units in battle. Better to do this now before they have a chance to regroup. Let's go over here, kill these guys. France accepted a peace offer, white peace. Krakow explodes. Just have to wipe them out. Venezuela can be added to our sphere. There! Now we have all of South America within our sphere of influence. Alright, you've been wiped out. This actually, uh, before they suffer too much attrition. We're gonna move these guys back. Oh wait, never mind. Japan will give us military. They'll give us military access. So can we park these guys? In Japan, there we go. So we don't have to suffer from the attrition. Just conquer this. Orange, eh, might as well. Try to conquer this territory so we can have something where we won't lose, like, gain just attrition on. Here. We're fighting in the plane, so this is giving us a bonus. Like right, 20 seconds. The units are running from us. Okay, this is kind of stupid. All these units are like running around us. Alright, we can get there in time. Stack. All right, we got that done. Let us uh, let us go for this. It'll give us twelve prestige. All right. Uh, let us go for. Hmm. Should we keep on going military right now? Let's actually uh, start worrying about industry. So let's go for organic chemistry right now. Or cheap iron. Let, actually, let's go for cheap iron. If 
30 socialists in the upper house. All right, so we can pass reform. And let us go for basic school systems. Crazy. We are inflicting heavy casualties on them, but it's like so many Chinese brigades that we're gonna have to like keep going through. Like we just we're killing hundreds of thousands of Chinese. <laughs> get this and the reason I want to go for this right now is because like we still we can still uh, get some more from China later on but we have to build up a force down here because there's no way in hell we were gonna uh, <laughs> we we're gonna be able to manage to take this stuff build a naval base down here All right, so we conquered our own little slice of China right now. And now the Chinese are gonna have to adapt to it, but we shall continue to grow over there in China. Revolution in orange, the radical party. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have another revolution down here. This also, I guess we could also begin influencing Transvaal. Alright, so since we got pretty much South America locked down, we don't have to worry about any other competing powers against us down there. We gained our little possession. Yeah, we gained our little possession in Asia. We're going to have to expand over here soon. And also, I just noticed, uh, it didn't count as a colony. So our literacy just went to complete shit just now. Oh my goodness. That, I thought it was gonna like turn into a colony or like something like a protectorate, but I guess we get what we pay for. We say get a full-fledged state. China, actually China just, wait. China just westernized. Uh. What? Weren't they at like 40% civilization? Unless they like, Oh, wow. You mean to tell me that during that war, China managed to westernize? We're, oh, well, we gotta sit. China is interesting now since we are pretty much their neighbor. Wow, I was not expecting that. Uh, 
Okay, looks like we're gonna have to keep an extra watch down here. But besides that, all right, so this is done. Oh, thank you. We can build ironclads now. Let's get like a ironclad it's up and running. Move you down to Rio. All right, this new army is being put together. Okay, some more steamer transports because we are gonna be shipping these guys over. We probably don't need this. We need, probably just need three more. Shipping the guys in Africa over to the homeland. And from there, we shall consider doing something more with China, okay. Like China is now, all right, so pretty much what I did, I think I just broke Asia. <laughs> it seems that when I did this to the Chinese empire, like they must have westernized. And when that happened, all of these guys must have broken free at once. I, I just remember that uh, you could just take pieces of China with, without like this westernization thing going on. But uh, I guess they may have changed it. Well, that's weird, but I guess next we can set our sights on would have to be the UK. Now, what I'm hoping for, what I'm really hoping for is when around 1900, we could ally France and I want to take like chunks of England off. That should put, push our industry score way up. That's how we're going to cheat this game. We're going to like take industry away from Great Britain and instead use it for our own means. Now this is terrible. Like, I mean, we are getting the education bonus, but we're going to have to pass some more social reforms soon. We got to like get all the way down like to good school systems to at least counteract all of this because we just took a dip. Speaking of which, I'm gonna try to counteract it again by going back to encouraging clerks. Okay, there goes my alarm. All right. Uh, cheap iron is done. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go for this one. It's gonna take two years to finish, but it'll at least boost our score back up to where it was, and then I'll go for social science to fix our, to help fix our education decline, and then we can focus back on some industry and military tech. So I hope you guys liked and enjoyed the episode. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. And when we return, we shall deal with this, like what we've caused in Asia. Uh, I didn't wish for it to go like this but hey it happened and pretty much we can still have free reign over china we can still take chunks of them but it'll cost us more like infamy so i hope to see you guys again on the next episode this is solo supreme and hope you guys have a great day now this one is pure niceness